If you're an artist looking for a new easel, you came to the right place because I'm going to be doing a product review of this one behind me with the Hulk on it. Hi, I'm Rich Coons. Welcome back to Diligent Visual. Today I want to talk about studio easels and I'm going to review this H-frame easel that I got behind me. Um, Sophia is joining me today to help me with the review. So let's get started. It's really weird looking at yourself when you're doing these recordings. Try to... Yeah. My old easel had, was just a single... Um, it was a single mast easel and it wasn't very sturdy. It was tipping all the time. Um, I had it forever. I probably paid about $100 for it. It, it wasn't really very good. It wasn't really super high quality, but for $100 it was a, about all that was available. Uh, so I started looking and I came across an easel on Amazon. It's a U.S. Art Supply Malibu Extra Large H-Frame Deluxe Adjustable Wood Studio Easel. And it tilts and it has caster wheels on it. Uh, those weren't really the primary things that I was looking for of an easel. I was just looking for something a little bit more sturdy. It has a shelf on it. It was adjustable to be able to hold uh, large work and small work. So you could... Uh, paint anything up to 90 inches in height. It uh, wasn't super big and super heavy so I'm looking for something sturdy but I don't want something that I can't move. I just don't have the space for it. It looks like also like this thing was $400 regular price and now um, it's down to under 200 Hey everybody I'm here with Sophia today and we're going to be... You want to say hi? Hi. Look at the camera and say hi. Hi. Uh, so we're going to be doing a product review for uh, an easel that I got that's behind us. That's... I almost fell. You almost fell. I got you. It's right there. It's right, right there. What's on there? Um, um, Hulk, Hulk Smash. Hulk Smash is on there right now. So that's the painting that I'm working on. But we want to talk to you about the easel that we got. And it's from American Art Supply. And it's called an H-frame easel. Do you know why it's called an H-frame easel? No. Well, let's look. So we want an H-frame easel. Why would we want an H-frame easel? Because it's really sturdy, right? Yeah. Do you know what sturdy means? Like disgusting. No, no it doesn't mean disgusting. Oh. It means that it stands up nice and tall and it doesn't ever fall down. Like, Dad, you take the hope down so we can see the easel? Sure. My dad got this new easel. They call it the H-frame because it's shaped like an H. This is the middle part of the H. This is one side. This is the other. So you see the H now? Yeah. I thought this was the H. No, that's the middle. So e the easel holds paintings. These lights didn't come with the easel. Next time I demonstrate how it works. I'm gonna need some help from my dad. We're gonna start by taking these lights off. Okay. You want me to Can take you, one off? Um, I don't know if you're gonna be able strong enough to take that off. You know how to do that? So you squeeze it. You squeeze this, and then it uh, squeeze it hard. Oh, there we go. Wow. Okay. So then put that on the floor gently, so we don't break it. I put this thing together. It probably took me about an hour or so to put together. It was pretty easy to assemble. Um, and it's uh, beech wood. It's pretty sturdy wood. So it's going to be, you know, wiggly. nice and nice. Yeah, it's not too wiggly, right? That's why we got it because we don't want it to be too wiggly. And when you're painting, you're not really being rough with it, right? So it, it doesn't really matter that it's super, super wiggly. But it's pretty sturdy because it's an H frame, right? Yeah. Come stand over here. <laughs> the shelf would be good to put the paint or brushes in. Why don't you go grab some brushes and we'll put them in here. Uh, right, right there. No, no, right there. Please. Perfect. Right? So you could hold your brushes and if you need any brushes, you got them right here. Yeah. Right? Like, pick them up and... Dad, what if I want to use the easel and I'm too small? I'm too small. You're too small to use the easel? Yes. Can we adjust it? Yeah. So we could be for little people too. So you could push it down. Watch this. You take this. Right? Yeah. 
Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and raise this up again. There's a little, um, there's a little thing you put your hand in there, and then you pull it out, and it goes up onto these little bars right here. Yeah. See how that works? Yeah, don't like slash my hand. I will never do that. This guess what I hurt my hand once. You did? Yeah, I hurt it. How did you hurt it? I don't know. I forgot. What if you want to move it? If I want to move the easel, it's got casters. It's got wheels on the bottom. So we just slide it around yeah. on the floor, which is really nice, right? Just run it on my toe. I would never run over your toe. So we're going to move this around like this. We could slide it around the basement. What is this for? I put a power strip on there so that we can take the lights and clamp them. We've got a couple of clamp lights here. Can you pick up the other one, Sophia? Yeah, I can. Wait, how do you... Oh. So we just clamp a couple lights on here. <laughs> it's really hard to squeeze. I don't know. Oh. oh. Oops. Now push it off. Push it on. Uh -huh. Now push it off. There we go. What if you want to use the easel like a table? If you want to use it like a table, this is the last cool thing about this you easel. Got, you could bend it backwards. You're right. You could bend it backwards. So we're going to show you how to oh. do that right now. Are you? I'll be right back. Okay. Tell me how to tilt it back. To tilt it back to make it like a table? Mm -hmm. So you could loosen this. Can you go on the other side and loosen that one? Yeah. Like which way? This um, one? Um, Just make it looser. Yeah. Just loosen it a little bit more. There we go. There it goes. Watch. Okay, come over here. Whoa! Go grab that light! Oh. Let's take the lights off. Oh, you got it? Good catch. <laughs> Set it down. Watch out! Come out of there! Come out of there! Oh, my God. Now, the easel is like a table, so it's flat. So if I wanted to paint something flat, I could just go like this up here, right? Yeah, like... You'd have to stand on a chair, but you could show us. Yeah, like... Oh, no! You just ruined the Hulk! <laughs> just get me. It's pretty dry. <laughs> Dad, I have to go eat lunch. We might recommend this easel for um artists. For artists, yeah. Even little paper, little people can paint. Great. So it's pretty cool. If you need an e easel, go get one. And if it's too tall, just cut it down. That was great. Thank you Bye. so much. Bye. Thanks so much, Soph. Bye, people. See you next time. Till next time on the next video. All right. Thanks, so go eat. Bye, Mommy, I'm coming. Are you editing? Not yet. <laughs> now it could be loud. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you got something out of it. Again, this is just something that I recommend if you're looking for an easel. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Like, there's like a little button that they put on the laptop or something, and then they say click it, and then you can never even miss a video. Hmm. That's if you subscribe.